Hello, so we are back and this time we have a nice laptop to repair. Check here. Dell i5 A Gen. Proper nice laptop. The problem with this one is that. I like a big scratch here. Maybe it's no scratch, maybe it's art. <laughs> okay, let's find a charger for this Dell. And let's see what he's doing. So we need a Dell connector. Yeah, that's the one. We need 19 volts. Good. Plug in the charger. It's working. 500 milliamps. The fans is spinning at full speed. It's going off. So what's the problem with this laptop? It has like three, three screws. You can hear the fan is spinning at full speed. And it's shutting down. It's not, the fan is spinning normally. But we have no picture. And the laptop shut down, so it's coming on and shutting down. Yeah, 450 milliamps. Which is kind of low. 260 milliamps and then goes off. Okay, that's strange. Let's have a look with the thermal camera. You see, this is a weird fault. I mean, coming on normally, then goes off. Pressing the power button. No. Everything, including the CPU. It's acting normally. Wait, what's that? Let's check a little bit there to see what's going on. Wait, so here it was liquid damage, so check there. Check there at the connector. Huh? So here was liquid damage. Yeah, it was liquid damage, so check here, this pad is gone, you can see it's interrupted, but maybe it's still touching. Okay, okay, let's check, let's check if we have the main power rail present on this connector, yeah? Thirteen point five volts. So the main power rail is present. Huh? Three point four. We have three point four. Here we have four point seven. Thirteen. Thirteen. So I don't understand, do we have picture and I don't have a backlight or, or what? Let's see if we have any picture. We have picture, check there. Can you see the picture? But we don't have backlight. Yeah, you can see the writing on the screen. 
but it's not Bakelite. Okay, this is another weird job. Now, I don't think the fault is from here. Because we still have a good pin. So we are focusing on the pin for the backlight, right? You check there. It is good or not? It's dodgy. You said dodgy? For me, it doesn't look dodgy. One second. Wait. Oh, it's good. This one is not good, indeed. But those are together. Oh, lol, are not together. If those are, you know, probably are together, but look here. Probably from here, yeah. From here are together. You can see zero ohms. But both pins are disconnected. So what is the solution? The solution is very simple. We have to make sure at least one pin. Uh, one pin is carrying the 19. I mean, yeah, we can make them both to carry the 19. Yeah, something like that. Can I do it? What do you think? I believe we can do it. So we need a little bit of flux. Yeah. A little bit of solder iron. Perfect. And a little bit of wire. If we can find. Where are my proper calibrated fuses? I mean, what you will do? You replace the cable with a new one? That's what you will do? It's no point. For what? For a wire? Nah, uh, why you... Uh, you know what? I need one more hand. Yeah. I really need one more hand. Perfect. So if it's if it's staying like that, it's done. Perfect. Let's clean it. Let's clean it and check what we done. It is a good job or not? It is. So should work. Okay? Let's check. Let's check. So plug in the screen connector. Plug in the power. Good. Now let's wait for the picture. It's working! I can't believe. Look, nice backlighter. Yeah, but the screen is clean, has no liquid damage on the screen. Perfect! I can't believe. So actually, the from the whole board, the only area with liquid damage was exactly there on the screen connector. And we fix it. Yeah, hard drive not installed. What can I say? It looks dodgy. I mean, what options I have to replace the screen connector and uh, no, actually to replace the, the screen ribbon cable and the motherboard connector. 
It's not hard to replace, but whatever you can find. I'm, maybe you'll find the screen ribbon cable, but you will not find actually the motherboard connector. It's not even point. For what? For a solder? No. Okay? Fantastic. So the idea on the backlight repairs is to be sure you have your main power rail going to the screen and actually reaching the screen. Okay, so I'll stop here. I will say thank you for watching and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.